two and a half minutes to pick and ban. So, and there's no bonus time. So when you're, when you get the timer over to your side and you have seven seconds, you literally have, no, like pick time per round, literally. so to speak. Literally seven seconds. Well, I, I'm guessing Kuroki plays Lycan. I have never seen this uh, played by him. Have you? Mm, no. Even in Dota 1? I don't think so. <laughs> Do you remember back in those days? So that's kind of an issue. What I... does that have to do with me? I don't know. I'm My settings are the same as usual. Ten seconds so... remaining. Five seconds remaining. I mean, that would have nothing to do with me, right? We're in if... I mean, it's showing to me like I'm talking in the right-hand side, so either... Either I'm being trolled or you. something is bugged, which hopefully it's not the latter, with the whole server issues. If that is... Please inform the... Oh. Yes, please. I'm gonna check if it's happening once the delay can... Uh, gotta check on that somehow, but... Uh, else... Maybe I can reconnect. Maybe that will solve it if that's an issue. But hopefully, hopefully it's all good now. That, uh, all right. Some that quick updates. Uh, since my camera work was so trash last time, there were various reasons for that. Uh, one of which was the minimap icons. I apologize. I had to change. I know you guys like the icons, but and I do too. It's just catch kills. It's very hard to distinguish who's on whose team. So hopefully this helps. If I'm trash again today, then you can play me all you want. No problem with that. Uh, let's worry, go over the lineup, shall we? I know, you, you never hold back with me, so I appreciate that. Big Daddy no tails going to be playing his patented Earth Spirit. Uh, sorry, Elder Titan. <laughs> that would be something. Maybe he is a good Earth Spirit, I don't know. But Elder Titan is one of his best heroes easily. Um, I think really good against any agility hero, really, and PA in general, I think. As long as you have some sort of way to get through that evasion, great hero against that. Uh, just because of the armor reduction. S4 playing Sand King. Wow, this is interesting. Okay. Uh, Puppy. Oh, so Puppy's playing the support Lycan. Okay, that, that makes a little bit more sense. Yeah. Simba on Batrider, and Kuroki will be the Skyrath Mage. Suppose, or I'm assuming a core Skyrath. It's a support, I think. They're, uh, this is something we talked about uh, three day, or two days ago when Secret were playing the last time, that these players have played multiple roles in the past. And because of that, they will be able to adapt if they need to in the situation. And this is the kind of pool where... If Kuro does not like Lycan and doesn't feel comfortable, he can just swap with Puppy. And Kuro begins. plays a really good support, so Skyrath will be no problem for him. And then they can put Puppy on the Lycan that he's really famous for. So this is something I'm really interested to see how works out for them. Ace really cool a little to bit see. damage there from Skyrath Mage. Why don't you go over the, uh, the Fnatic stand-in lineup? <laughs> yeah, so in the bot lane, we're going to have stand-in crit playing as Wraith King. We're going to have stand-in <laughs> key on the Witch Doctor. Fnatic Excellent. Hani. Standing in today, playing for Fnatic. <laughs> in, or he's standing in for Team Stand In. He's actually a Fnatic player. And then mid lane, we've got Arise from Team Stand In as well on the PA. And top lane, Ace will be standing in as well. <laughs> <laughs> so have they just not officially joined like the roster in Steam the, or whatever? They have not officially joined the roster at all. The only official member of Fnatic is still Hani, but the. Everyone in the game apart, or everyone on the team in this game rather, apart from Key, no, sorry, apart from Crit, have been playing with uh, with Hani for quite a while now. I think some weeks. So I don't know if we can consider them 100% stable yet because it's not official, but at least they have they've been playing for some time. So is this a core uh, Venge? He went boots first. He is in the offlane, obviously. And there's nice a nice prize thing. pool, by the way. Did it update for you? No. Yeah, That's the prize strong. pool thing is messed up. We'll They're try currently to get that playing fixed. for a lot of money. We're playing for yeah, a, a cup of coffee. These guys are playing pro bono. That's not even a cup of coffee, bro. Come on. <laughs> I'm not taking 250 out of my wallet to buy them coffee. Yeah, true. Good point. <laughs> yeah, of yeah, course, we should, we should uh, mention that prize pool gets, uh, gets hooked from uh, a server, which just up, uh, shows the number, updates it once in a while. So if that server bugs, then we get a number that's zero. So... Pretty much. Good prize. Ooh, point. I love this. Sand King middle lane goes Caustic Finale first. Have not seen this in a long time, especially since there's no Broodmother in CM. That was one of the main... I shouldn't call it one of the main. It was one of the counters to Broodmother because of those fighter links, which I don't... Apparently it's not that good anymore, actually, against those fighters because they're just so freaking good, but... 
uh, against melee, this this should hurt PA quite a bit. Let's see how this works out for S4. Oh, he's doing Ooh. some damage yeah. right now on a rise. Doing more than some damage, Cinderin. He's doing quite some damage. Oh. Yes. A rise is 450 gold, or sorry, 500 gold off a bottle, and he doesn't have a salve in the lane. Started with two tangos, probably expected to go up against. Well, I don't know, what did he expect to go up against? He would have lost against a Batrider with that build, would have lost to Sand King, would have lost to Skyras. <laughs> Pretty uh, optimistic starting Bot items lane, here for a rise. King. Bottom tower a little love attack. tap to no tail. Back up with no worries. Not gonna have too much mana capacity now, but in fact, let me look at his regen. He does have a mana pot. Use. It looks like it is going to be a core vengeful spirit, which I love. So, I mean, this is something Navi used to bring out all the time. I think we, it's very underrated. Kuroki in the top lane taking a lot of damage at half HP, but so is the Witch Doctor. He's going to be forced out, at least for now. Okay, he actually might be able to get this kill on the Witch Doctor. One more right click to go. Does he have vision? Doesn't look like he's going to have to back up. Ace almost able to take him down. In fact, he doesn't have boots. Kuroki doesn't either. He should be able to catch up with one right click. Ace gets the first blood. Meanwhile, Puppy farming away in that top lane. Not, I don't think he could have done anything, obviously, but... I could have gone for the epic wolf block, if you remember from TI2, I believe that yeah. was. With, that's a very memorable moment, but yeah, there was nothing to do there. And Kuro he was... He didn't have wolves, actually. No, he, he hasn't skilled it yet. One. I'm not sure. Now he's going to skill two points into it so he can use it, but... Yeah, Kuro was less than half a second from surviving there. Uh, the movement speed was still available for Legion Commander from overwhelming odds. Oh, bottom lane. Actually crit. Yeah. Double Taking stun on the Batrider. Rage King's gonna fall one way or another. The question is, can they get the Batrider in exchange? It doesn't look like it's gonna be the case, Hani. Maybe it's that vision now. One right click to go. No! And now No Tail. Turning on Hani, who tangos up. As well as Juan. Looks like he'll live. <laughs> Throws out another love tap to No Tail. No Tail's just taking a lot of these stuns. Beauty of, beauty of No-Tail on this Elder. I almost call him Earth Spirit again. Fuck me. Go ahead, Cinder. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Great play it's by okay. Earth Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if there's not going to be Earth Spirit picked, we might as well call one of the heroes Earth Spirit to get That's some true. enjoyment we can out of like, that. Okay. <laughs> we can imagine how miserable the game could be <laughs> if it weren't Earth Spirit. <laughs> That's true. I mean, there's pretty much a hundred percent chance that it will never get picked in this tournament. I think you can agree with that. Yeah. We talked about that two days ago. That is, for me, the number one most imbalanced hero in the game. So, if the teams think the same, which I, it's kind of the common consensus, at least among a lot of the top players, that Earth Spirit's just ridiculously uh, insane. Like, I love the... It's one of those heroes where I really love the design and the idea of what it does, but at the same time, the design itself is just fundamentally broken. But it's really cool and it's a fun idea, but still needs some work for me before it's a, a balanced hero, so... It's okay. Maybe somebody will be asleep at the job when they're drafting one of these days. Yeah, if they don't see it, or if they're, they're like, oh, that's well, that's just Elder Titan, and then they let it through, and then it was, as a matter of fact, Earth Spirit that time. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. <laughs> yes. The E.T. and the E.S. If anything, they're going to confuse Earth Spirit and Earth Shaker, but well, that's, that's a whole other conversation. That's true, um, they're both strength, as we learned today. <laughs> <laughs> as you learned today! Don't put me in that god-awful group, okay? I was right for once. You had to eat it. Uh, I don't but... know where I got that from, but that's gonna be a good joke from now on. Yes, I'm absolutely. sure you'll pull that out in oh, bad absolutely. moments. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mid Top lane? lane? S no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is great com- this is commentary at its best, I have to say. Our synergy? Amazing. Top lane, mid lane. Well, yeah. I was going to say mid lane, despite getting wrecked early, oh, PA lane. not too far behind. You scared me. God damn it, Cinder. <laughs> Alright, I'll just let you do the main commentary. The lane? I'll do the comment. I'll do the, the analysis. Okay, so let's pick a lane. Okay. Let's say mid. Alright. Uh, so mid lane. Arise has come back pretty well, I think. When we saw in the start, he ran out of pretty much all of his region. He was getting pressured heavily by S4. By no means is he winning the lane, he's still, he's also not tying, he's behind by 9 and 5, but I thought he was going to get crushed after that start. He's still managing to get some decent farm with the dagger and got his bottle out, and that's when it's, it starts getting a lot easier for the PA and mid. My analysis is, you're correct. The co-caster job's so easy. <laughs> you're, you're right. You are absolutely correct, good it's, sir. Good it's job. Pretty, it, it's easy if the play-by-play -play caster says right stuff all the time and covers everything. Which That's true, which isn't the case for me, so 
Now we know how hard your job has become. Oh, bottom, bottom lane, lane, we have a stun onto no tail. <laughs> Man. Hey, we picked the same lane this time. That's, that's true. That that's is some true. progress. ET at half HP. What do you think about ET in this game? Versus I like what I was saying for like, PA. It's just Team Secret are so good with this hero. I, you know, any sort of judgment I have as to, as far as how good Elder Titan is in general in this game, just because it's Team Secret, it's going to be good. It's just that way. I was so surprised about, like, by them at Starlight. What did they ban other than Wisp? Was. What did Fnatic ban? Do you uh, remember? They banned Wisp? another. They banned an Intel support. I can't remember which one it was. Okay. Uh, no, I would no, feel they it. banned Nec no Necrophos was banned by Secret. They banned an Intel support. I'm almost 100. percent But Dyer's yeah, and the, well, the Elder Titan in general. The, of course, the an the Natural Order on the Astral Spirit is what you're generally looking for in the mid game, and they have some good synergy with Sanking Ultimate. Lycan's going to hit really hard. Skyrath's Ultimate is going to be pure damage instead of magical when there's Astral next to the target. So they've got some really good synergy with with bursting with it, but. When you think about it, pretty much every lineup has synergy with Elder Titan, right? just because it's such a fundamental part of the game to deal damage, and he amplifies all of it. So Yeah, absolutely. It's more about whether you can combo with the Echo Stomp, and it's a really good setup for the Sand King. So I think it could work. It's also a good follow-up to the They have a lot of good setups. Yeah, yeah, they have a lot of good... I mean, any kind of lockdown and Skywrath Mage is level 3, so you're right, it was a support. So Kuroka going back to his, I'm not going to say his roots, his Na'vi role, which I'm not sure he was a huge fan of, but the fact that they can do that just shows the flexibility in this lineup. As for looking to gank, but oh, uh, actually Hani might be in some trouble getting a concussive shot, and actually a beautiful dodge from S4. It's going to be a really easy kill. So it's 2 to 1, secret advantage, S4 level 7, almost has a blink dagger. And what, what happened here... The top lane started as a dual lane with Batrider and Lycan, and then Batrider, Simba, transitioned to the jungle. Lycan got some levels in top lane solo, was able to survive, is level 6 now, so they're doing a really good job of getting levels on their, their core heroes. Pretty much no issue. Yeah, now putting Kuro in the bot lane for level 6 is gonna be... I think... hmm... As far as this goes, like, it, there's no doubt Radiance Secret are winning this early game. The graphs are showing attack. it, the rotation there just gave them another kill, and, and they're looking good. I'm I'm wondering, if you look at Fnatic, where the comeback is going to come from. Like, you have a Legion Commander win Bottle and Tread, so the Blink Dagger is going to be probably like 15 minutes, or maybe 14 at this rate from Ace, unless he gets a kill. PA is a hero that needs time, and the aggressive dual lane that Fnatic ran just didn't really work out, so... I think they I don't want to say they've cornered themselves, it's really early, but it's it's the kind of lineup where you want to find kills early with your stuns and it's just not happening. Well the question is, what kind of RNG is PA gonna get this game? We've seen Arteezy go crazy with this hero, despite not having very much farm, and a lot of that has to do with as middle lane actually as Ford getting a couple stuns applied to him. Make it three thanks to Witch Doctor, this should be enough to take him out, and it is. It does take four heroes, so that's quite a bit of commitment, but definitely worth it. The question is, can they transition transition this in? Man, I just got a lisp out of nowhere, that's not good. Uh, into a yeah, mid lane. <laughs> Fortification use though. They're gonna push mid. <laughs> I hate you. If I hadn't said anything, would you be making fun of me right now? I don't yes. know. Okay. <laughs> I know. Then I'm fine with that. <laughs> well, they're gonna get the tower. This is actually really good from, from Fnatic. Gank into tier 1 at 9 minutes is always fallen. one of those high-value plays. Uh, the fact that PA got the kill, I think, makes it even better. That was the perfect kind of rotation that they needed, so... We were looking for Fnatic to do something. Uh, get another kill, get a tower on the board, which is, is really great for them. And now that they've done this, and the mid tower is gone, and they have this good map coverage of the Radiant Jungle, we might see them try to advance down either through this path or this path, find a gank bottom, and maybe even look to do the same to the bottom tier 1. Of course, Venge with that level 3 aura, very unusual build from Hani, gives them great damage output when they're looking to push oh, buildings true. and take fights. I wouldn't, ex I wouldn't be surprised by an early Roshan attempt here. They have a really good Roshan team. Ani able to bottle up that DD, so Puppy not able to deny it. Take out one of the wolves. Top lane. Oh, they're gonna Ace. swap him into the river. Oh, Puppy. He's, he's fine. He's he's like 6,000 move speed, so it's all now good. Now Ani needs to TP out. Oh, he's stuck around quite a bit. He's gonna be fine, though. Did pop his DD. Out. Now, that... there, there are a bunch of wards here for, for Secret, so it's going to be tough to get off, even with the smoke. A, a, in fact, Secret has a good Roshan team, too, just because of the Lycan, if nothing else. So yeah, he Roshan is expected with... to be... Yeah, it's going to be contested quite a bit, I think. He has Medallion, or sorry, he has Vlad's. He almost has the gold for Medallion, and he's level 8. So at that point, he could solo it. 
and Fnatic would be wise to keep track of Puppy a lot of the time, if not all the time, and then maybe even get some vision into the Roche Pit themselves. The problem is they have no summon-based heroes, so they can't just put anything in there. So they have to gradually, they have to scout it once in a while, like Wave of Terror, uh, or just put pressure on the bottom half of the map so that Puppy can't get in there without losing a tower at the very least. Um, and Secret, yeah, this was somewhat of a greedy though. lineup because a lot of the heroes need levels, but they've done a really good job of distributing it. You're right, Kuroki is now level 7 out of nowhere. Stan King, the S4, as we have a smoke at top by Fnatic. Looks, oh, the smoke actually dissipates right away for Simba. He knows something's up. He's gonna, oh, he oh. actually blinks out. I didn't even know he had a blink dagger. Okay. Fnatic trying to salvage this somehow, but doesn't look like anything's gonna come in from maybe a push top, but we have Radiant's some TP support here from Secret. And Fnatic's just gonna back up with their entire team attack. intact. They need to get the hell out of there. The moment they're spotted out like this, and Batrider has the blink. They would have got someone caught and they could have maybe lost the fight. But then again, they can also just bait a hero into getting lassoed. When they have press the attack and swap, then it's... Even if one of them gets caught, they can counter it with the other. That's usually how it works in, in late game when you're playing against Venge or Legion Commander. Is you try to catch that hero so that the enemy team can't break it. But when you have two breaks, the entire game through, landing a very good lasso for, uh, for Fly is going to be difficult. And... I, I would love to see Fnatic trying to play some baits where they willingly get a hero lassoed and then turn around on the on the Radiant team. And something also to keep in mind, the, the Blink Dagger is no longer Surprise, so Surprise Factor is gone for Secret as far as both Sand King, I believe, he, I'm sure he's been seen it. Uh, and Kuroki, of course, being level 7, they have so much burst potential as long as they get the initiation, but uh, as long as Fnatic plays a little bit more passively. Uh-oh, top lane. Ray King doesn't have his ultimate, he's definitely going to fall. And even the epicenter is used to finish him off. This would be honestly a good opportunity to go for Roshan for Fnatic. Those two heroes are here for uh, Secret, although they both have teleportation, so maybe not. I'm just looking forward to this Roshan. It's actually a trade almost taking place. Puppy getting the tier one mid very low. It's deniable. He's actually going to come in for the last. Will he? How cocky are you going to be? Thinking about it. <laughs> now he's going to move in the wolves. No. Oh. oh. No. Dyer's middle Get denied tower from PA. Has been denied. So things looking. Oh, bottom lane. I didn't miss the kill. I didn't do it. I got it. I got it on camera. Elder Titan taken out. So Fnatic. That was Vanish. Trying to do their best to stay in this. Wait, what? Oh. Damn it. Dyer's Where did Elder Titan die? <laughs> he died up damn. here. He got killed at the Ancients. Alright, so I did Dyer's. miss a kill. I was pretty I did close. Miss a kill. Like, you were on the. Like, this is the middle of the map, and it was like, <laughs> so I mean, it could have been worse. It'll get it's better, not, I promise. It's not that far from. Wraith King now level 6, though, so... You were in the right quadrant have of the uh, map. I'll give you that, so... There is a stack here, of course. It's a it's a double. Oh, looking and to make it maybe a triple. I'm not sure PA, if they want to stack it again, though. Is PA going for a BKB right away? <laughs> Looks like it. I did, well, what else what would you think it about be? that? Yeah. It has to be a BKB. Oh, I think it's a good choice when you're playing against Skyrath, Sand King, and Elder Titan. There's just a lot of magic damage and a lot of amplified damage you can... That can pressure you, so getting a BKB early is going to allow Rise to fight. The alternative would probably be the Butter uh, sorry, the Battle Fear build, which I think playing a farm game against Secret's team is going to, first of all, they're probably better than you at that game, and secondly, I think you're going to lose some momentum that you could have right now. And you see Aegis now going to go their way. If they can hold on to that until he has BKB, or maybe just use it now even to secure something on the map, that would be good. S4. Well, who's going on who? Oh, there's no way the stomp is gonna. Go. Okay, it catches one person. I stand corrected, but it's gonna be, he's gonna be woken up right away. Not sure if this is gonna turn into a fight of any sort. They, uh, Fnatic did a really good job of recognizing that the, that the Dan King ult was down. Oh my God, Elder Titan ult might do a ton of damage. It's only gonna catch one though. We have a stun onto No Tail from the Wraith King. Arise though, looks like to be he's gonna be the one of the first ones to go down, along with the Witch Doctor. This is gonna be a disaster for Fnatic. They're not careful. Two dead. Wraith King's ult does activate though, and just as I was talking about the Sand King ult. Comes off cooldown there, able to secure another kill. Wraith King dies yet again. Aegis was used, I believe. I'm not sure who had that. Hani's able to take out at least one. PA, who had the Aegis? Was it PA? It must have been yeah. PA. So she's alive, but stuck in the trees. <laughs> and we have a teleport here. Out of the trees for a rise. I don't think he don't wants think to go he can for this. kill anybody by himself right now. And it just looked like, Fnatic looked like a team without Radiant's any sort of play call there. It looked, there was a lot of indecision, there was Radiant no clear targeting, they didn't s immediately go for some sort of kill. Arise, I think, played it way too passively with his Aegis, they should have just gone in, tried to kill a target, denied. used the Aegis, and then tried to snowball from there. Instead, they just let Secret run over them and get a couple of kills before they even started fighting back decently. 
And then when you're at that kind of deficit in the fight, you're just not going to win it. So they need they need clearer uh, clearer fighting calls like this. They're they just need to be more decisive. Is what I'm getting at. Puppy versus PA. Oh, Nothing's going to happen though. And S4 versus Ace. Ace lost. He lost pretty hard. There, are, there is some backup in the on the way. Of course, they don't really have a whole lot of mobility with this oh, race swap? King, but the swap is there. Hani gonna stun out Kuroki. Kuroki does not. He has Ancient Seal now, but I don't think that's gonna be enough to get, get away. As PA is the one to get the last hit, so she's doing quite nicely as far as the recovery. Secret definitely has the advantage right now. They're gonna transition this into a tier one top tower. And here comes the E T ult, the stun furrow strike. Oh, it actually hits two. S4 though, taking a lot of damage. The oh my lord, PA just ripped you a new one. No tail on the run. Couple more right clicks to go, and he's gonna fall as well as long, along with the tier one tower. So a little over aggressive, perhaps from Secret. A little overconfident, if you will. It was a it was a pretty cool play from them though to try to go for that combo. So they start they start the Elder Titan ultimate, and while it's mid, while it's like half the way to the end, uh, the Sand King. Blink stun so that it connects with that and he uses Sandstorm, but they still survive through it. I believe attack. they use Magic Sticks and had the Witch Doctor heal going, and then they just get turned around on. And what could have been a pretty cool play ends up basically being two freebies for PA. And because of that, Arise will have a pretty timely BKB now. It's not the best timing in the world still, but with 61 CS, you're really happy to get a BKB sub 20. Of course, the only thing that's going to go through BKB that matters is the lasso, but with those counters, um, you think Simba would might go for a um, a Lincoln's at some point? Obviously going for four staff right now after the blink dagger, but I think Lincoln's might actually be really good. I mean, you cancel swap once you have B. Uh, yeah, you cancel swap and you cancel the uh, LC ult as well. And then from there, like, what do you do if you're fanatic if he does get that? Do you think that's an actual option for Simba once he picks up I four staff? I am almost 100% certain about this, but I don't want to say anything stupid if I'm not 100%. But I think you can swap <laughs> yeah. you can swap both Batrider and Batrider's target in the last oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So even if he Lincoln's, it doesn't matter how a nice counterplay from Ace here. This is a great, ex great illustration of what this lineup can do. Uh, so I, I think there's no item build for Simba that guarantees him to land the lasso, which is kind of unusual for Batrider, because like you said, if it was... Uh, like, it's a problem that Hero in general has against either of these two heroes that Fnatic has, but when they're both there, perhaps you just item build you, you item build utility. So even if the lasso gets broken, you at least force a swap or press the attack, then you have like a four staff to kite around the fights, you get all the How's utility the range you can, basically. On press the attack? Oh, it actually shows the range. That's actually yeah, decent range. It's pretty it was a good cast range, yeah. It's like 600, I think. Dyer's top Maybe more. 700? 750? It looks, yeah, it looks more like 750. Smoke's gonna be revealed. Blink in, Ace oh, uses so it all time. Puppy, can they get the kill in time, though? Oh, not gonna be able to do so. No extra damage coming the way of Legion Commander, but they do get the kill, which is the most important part, I suppose. S4, looking to perhaps initiate, but against it, Hani. Better be careful. <laughs> top lane in the meantime. No Tails able to TP out, because no stun comes, no stun coming out from the PA who doesn't have a stun, if that makes any sense. Eventually, an Abyssal will come through, of course. Abyssal goes through BKB, correct? Yeah, the actual active stun. Yes, Dyer's and the passive bash is under attack. Yeah. can also go through, so... I mean, well, if, if you're looking at Secret right now and what they need to do, uh, the, the Lycan is getting good farm, so that's great. Puppy's item building the pushing build with Vlad's into Necrobook, but they're not really able to find these towers right now, so... With the BKB now up on PA, and the general stun mid-game lineup Fnatic has, I think Secret's best bet right now is to dodge fights. Just split push the best you can, don't get involved in 5 and 5 engagements, because any sort of misstep is going to cost you a lot against a team that has swap to uh, chase you down with, they have the Legion Commander with press the attack, or sorry, with overwhelming odds, and just in general, the amount of abilities that Fnatic has to punish them with if they get in on the wrong foot is just really high, so... There's really would... good awareness from Arise, by the way, being very passive. He would have gotten killed so easily if he was in the lane for, like, even 10 more seconds. Now he has a lot of backup in the form of his entire team. Wraith King ult is up, so he can sacrifice himself if need be. Uh, I'd really like to see some farm on him at some point for, as far as initiation is concerned. They do have a lot of initiation, though, so... Perhaps not 100% necessary as far as priority is concerned. S4 can be found, but it's going to blink out pretty much immediately. 
Now we're seeing the Astral Spirit not only do damage, but more importantly, give vision. In fact, it's gonna hit literally, oh! I was gonna say all five heroes, but that's not the case. How much damage comes out from five heroes being hit by that? Like, meaning uh, how much damage comes back to no tail? Five times 40. Okay, so a lot. That's 200. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you meant to be funny about this. Uh, I, I appreciate it. I do. Is I, was, I wasn't, really I wasn't sure whether you were going to think of that as a joke or be like, oh, thank you. I, I don't do math because... I don't do math very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, that tower is going to be... Uh-oh. It's fortified. This might buy them enough time to actually find them out with this smoke. This could be really big for Fnatic if they're able to execute. The Nye's not able to come out. Of course, being a melee hero doesn't help in that department. And... Secret's just in the trees right now. What's gonna happen? We have a Burrow Strike initiation. Elder Titan all coming out. He's getting all oh, the swap just in time. But Honey gets taken down to half HP. The Death Lord doing work. It's gonna be a two for one exchange. Likely the only casualty of war for Secret as they are now on the run. But Epicenter is here. PA getting demolished. Wraith King all finally activating. But PA is dead, so I don't know how much crit can do here. Along with the Witch Doctor, who are both on the run. I expect at least one of them to die, if not both. The Burrow Strike's gonna ensure that Wraith King will in all likelihood fall. So this is gonna end up being a team wipe going the way of Team Secret, and all they lost was Lycans. That was... It's its a really big shame for Fnatic what happened right now, because they had the right idea. They had... Everything happened the way they wanted it to, apart from PA being opened one or two seconds too early. So they, they had to trade off quite a lot there for... For saving her, they did get the swap off, but Hani kind of threw himself in the middle of the fight, Dyer's and they, he, they even fallen. took a lot of damage at first. Dyer's and the BKB was used very late. If, if Fnatic Dyer's are the ones with the opener there from the back, and they catch Secret off guard, that one could have been 5-1 the other way, but Secret, again, it's about the decisiveness and the play calls. Secret are just one level ahead. And it's really unfortunate with Ace on the Legion Commander, something I kind of brought up. I feel like the hero is almost a liability if you don't get some early stacks of duel. And she already has, she has level 2 ult, but literally not one duel has been won. In fact, I'm trying to think of how many duels she's used. There was the one against Lycan, maybe one in that fight just now, I didn't even notice. Um, I mean, obviously her press the attack is huge against Batrider, but at the end of the day, if you're using that just as a, a counter to Batrider, with no damage actually coming out from Legion Commander, that's pretty bad unfortunate and this is a hero that just has to get off to a good start doesn't have a really good m comeback mechanism i guess uh, it is it is a pretty snowballing hero by nature the one thing she definitely has that's very useful the whole game is press the attack and even if ace has a, a difficult game he can still enable a rise if he's shining which so far rise has been having a good game he's six one and one he's got good farm uh, or well decent farm right there and well, if they can just get the fight on their terms, I don't think it's the biggest problem in the world that Ace doesn't have a lot of damage. It's more about him just getting a good duel off, even if he doesn't deal damage in it, just getting the right target locked down, H hitting a really good overwhelming odds, and then, well, that should be good enough. Oh is boy. He is he gonna, is he gonna die lane. to like the summons? No. Oh, Raid King taken out by S4 and Simba, no ultimate attack. to save him. Well, is this, that's level 3 Necro as well, isn't it? Honey taken considerable amount of damage, but... Gotta wait just in time. Who has that? Lycan, I'm assuming? Yeah, level 3 Necron yes. puppy. Yes, and he's, that is he's doing what he needs to do. You see, he's chasing away heroes on the top half of the map. He's pushing in the mid lane. Just being a nuisance in multiple lanes at once so these 5 and 5s don't break out, which, well, the last 5 and 5 was good for them, so... Oh, we have a lasso uh -oh. at bot lane along with the Elder Titan ult oh. use, and PA, just like that, is dead. I believe the slow would go through the BKB anyway, so in all likelihood would have died regardless of that usage. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that. It does. Bottom tower is under so this gone. will turn into, in all likelihood, a tier 2 bottom. Not a lot of Fnatic can do without their heavy hitter in PA. I feel like Wraith King would be a great hero to get some farm on, like Dyer's I mentioned. Bottom tower or to... Has fallen. I don't know, it's a really good initiator, especially when you have some a hard hitter with like PA to back you up. I mean, you can't really rely on, attack. I feel at least, LC to initiate, because she does, doesn't have much farm. She does have the blade mail now though, so perhaps going to prevent some usage. I don't know, even that, that doesn't do a whole lot right now. She'll still pretty much die fallen. right away. It's good against Kuroki, if he gets a, a mystic flare, I suppose.
Yeah, it's well, as long as he uses it before dueling, Blade Mail is pretty much always good on LC unless you duel a BKB target, so. Regardless of who he goes on, it's it's a good item choice. It's one I like a lot. Sometimes people are this okay. as far as as taste in items, if you will. Uh, some prefer to get the arm length over blade mail. I'm a proponent of the blade mail build in most cases. I think it's it's better most of the time. Uh, and this game is no exception. I think it's a good choice for this. But the thing is, for Fnatic now, they've just lost too much on the map. Even if they start taking good fights now, they their worst decision making and their a little bit poor timing against Team Secret has now given Secret a 12k golden experience lead, and that's just... That's oh, a problem. King takes so much damage. Actually, BKB forced by PA. Here comes the swap by Hani. Can they finish up no till before this fight goes any further? But here's the epicenter on multiple heroes. Dust is going to be popping. It doesn't really matter at this point. PA's dead. LC's dead. Witch Doctor soon to be dead, I would assume. Kuroki, though, getting stunned. Taken out. Was relatively easy from Hani. Another stun coming out, actually. Crit. His ult was activated, Death Ward not gonna do enough. Okay, the stun comes out from Wraith King, enable, enabling the kill. So it's a three for two, there might have been a buyback actually. Don't think so, so it's a three for three, unless there were buybacks that I missed. Ani no, on the run. No, just flat out three for three. And Witch Doctor. Be happy with that outcome. Absolutely, I didn't think that was gonna go up for them at all. S4 does have a Burrow Strike. Gonna use it for Witch Doctor, so it ends up being a four for three, but still. I still think they can be happy with that. Yeah, still, it's Overall. better. Better than normal. It's... <laughs> that's almost... That's borderline rude, but I'll take it. No, no, no. For this, uh, for this game. Not in general. Yeah. Well, when you look at the cur uh, the graphs here, I think... Yeah, the Radiant still came out slightly ahead, but all things considered with these fights now and how far Secret are ahead, I don't think Fnatic can expect to flat out win the fight, so in one way they should be satisfied that they didn't get crushed, but in the other, in another way they can't be satisfied because they absolutely have to win the fights to come back, because split pushing they're worse at. Late game, I think, is maybe favors them if they get good farm on both, especially PA, but also, like you said, Wraith King maybe getting an item or two, Legion Commander getting some more, but they're still oh up against God. a Lycan, and Elder Titan just always kind of counts like a core in late game, no matter what you have on your lineup. Just the, the natural order is just such a potent ability. And As fanatic. if Secret didn't have enough setup for the Mystic Flare or even ult from Elder Titan. They have two Yule Scepter. See that it's going to get usage here. No need for Witch Doctor. Pretty easy kill. Ace thinking about it, but will choose not oh, to go any Booker's further. going to chase down crit. He's not that's a great, Yeah, that's a oh. great counter, obviously, as they're going to find PA. Is there a lasso? The force staff just not in time. BKB's forced out again, though. So Dyer's PA's not going to have a BKB for this next attack. fight. He's going to use that advantage to uh, actually take out the pure damage. And Fnatic the just out of position, right? The Witch Doctor got Dyer's killed. When that fallen. happens, you cannot have your PA get caught later like that. She has to either TP out or not go there in the first place. But we even have having... three Yule Scepters. On secret now. Yeah, they love this item. It's also incredibly good. Uh, it's it's received a couple of buffs, and now it's at a point where a lot of teams are considering it very valuable. Just buying time resetting, kiting, uh, the passive bonus move speed is great. The synergy with their heroes is great. So I don't blame them for getting three. And now that they forced another BKB out of Arise, that's down to seven. And he's kind of the only real threat. Witch Doctor does not have a, an axe. If he did, that could be a, a threat yeah, that too. that could be huge. They but are I don't focusing think on getting, like getting him getting a little him. bit. Yeah, he's obviously not farm. I mean, when they're this far down, he's not going to get much farm. But I do, even though I said I like the farm on Wraith King, they are prioritizing Witch Doctor a little bit more, it seems. That's the one hero that can actually turn a fight despite you being like 15k down in that work. That's, we have an old usage from... Skyrath Mage, along with, I don't, you can't even tell who oh, Yules these are anymore. Swap in, Kuroki, there's the first duel won Where? by Fnatic, oh. Epicenter's being used, uh-oh, PA, no BKB, not in time. S4's going to get taken out, this is a trade, and actually the Witch Doctor were doing a lot of damage, despite having him BKB, of course the physical damage will go through that Wraith King. Ult is activated, no tell gets four staff, Yules going to dodge the stun. Will that save him? That's the question. Trying to get the stomp off, but that is like the longest cast animation in the game. So that's a big a three for one, despite losing the PA, who unfortunately doesn't get any experience from that. Really good hold but by still a one That swap from Hani just started the fight. Secret have to have to choose whether they want to fight pretty much four on five with the Kuro being burst down immediately, or if they want to get out. And they try to take the fight, they end up losing another two. The epicenter from 
S4 pretty decent, but it wasn't enough. They did get the PA for it, but nothing more. And that Witch Doctor ultimate there. Imagine that for the next in this situation. Yeah, exactly. That's what could bring them back. They got a fair amount of golden experience in that exchange. I think a few thousand even. And it's not only that. Now they also get to push out their lanes, get a little bit of farm. So they get something extra out of it. And they're while they have been dominating this game, they've still taken three. They've still taken three towers. So it's not like they have no map control at all. So maybe Fnatic could still make it back in this. It's not out of so the question. I just noticed something. I'm probably an idiot. You know how the Aegis will once it you are. ends, it will refresh your mana just like a regenerum. Yeah. I did not know it does not stop if you get hit. It does. At least that, that was to it. Well, he didn't. He was getting hit by a neutral. It stops on hero top. damage. Only hero dam, but the hero regen type is damage. anything, so... Should be, yeah. yeah. That's true. I right. believe it's hero Good type. Distinction. Yeah, that's a... That's a... Whew. That's one thing I wasn't sure about. So, but, well, if you're 100% sure you saw it didn't get broken by creeps, then it's only hero type damage that stops it. Speaking of Ags, I didn't even notice. He, with that fight, look how much he has in his inventory yeah. now. Only, He's only 900 only a thousand, or only, yeah, a thousand away from finishing that. That is... What level is he actually? Level 13. That's not too bad either. So, if Fnatic we'll win see. another Fans fight, I still yeah. think they can do this. They're still very far behind, and they need to execute the fights very well. But Rose one thing we possible. haven't talked about so much is how the gold is distributed. When you're looking over the gold of Secret, Puppy has the vast majority of, or well, he's far ahead of the second hero on the net worth, which is Batrider. So you have a Batrider with 12k net worth who is double countered by Fnatic's lineup. So his his value is not extremely high, or maybe doesn't correspond to what you usually think of a 12k net worth Batrider. At the same time, you have a Lycan who's very rich, but if he starts fist fighting the Fnatic lineup and he gets a one-on-one -on -one against the PA and there's a Witch Doctor Ward too, he has to run out. And then suddenly you have a lot of your net worth down the drain, with the Batrider being fairly weak in this game too. And that's what we saw in that, in that fight before. If they catch out the key support in Kuroki and maybe even the Elder Titan early on, I think they can still win fights, which is pretty remarkable when you're this far behind. And for sure. You just need to, to execute. Hani has to be the big player again with the swap. Comeback mechanic! Anything's possible in this patch, Cinder. Remember. Well, almost anything. But this is definitely doable, and Witch Doctor is going to have a huge load on his shoulders. Along with, like you said, the Vengeful Spirit initiation. Or counter initiation, for that matter. Gem picked up by No Tail. I thought they had one, but is, maybe that was uh, Natic that had one. Yeah. So Wraith King has one, which obviously is a good choice, and Elder Titan now. So one on each team. Expect the counter warding to commence. This obviously will favor Team Secret, as they will probably have an easier time getting map control than Fnatic, but they're gonna, Fnatic's gonna smoke up. And BKB, it is at nine seconds for Hani. I believe a BKB was just picked up by, no, it's not quite done on LC. It's actually a little bit of ways to go, in fact. Ooh, this wraparound could work well. See, I mean, this is a good time because Roshan, uh, we won't know when he'll be up until another like 10 or 15 seconds or so. Question is, does Fnatic know? Okay, this double smoke, in fact. <laughs> this should be interesting. Oh no. Roshan will be up in a minute 20. They're fully Their spotted just, now. Oh uh, yeah, that was, it was just a duration too. So this actually might favor Dyer's Fnatic. Middle tower is under if attack. Secret. I'm sorry, this might favor Secret. If Fnatic comes back into their secret shop, here we go. Necros are used. I'm getting a lot of lag. That's yeah, just this me. is weird. This is terrible timing. <laughs> yeah, even I'm lagging, so. Time for a horse. Okay. Well, let, let's, uh... <laughs> Alright, let's... Let's do that. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that is like the best thing we've ever done for Dota Cinema, is create the horse emote. Shout out to Trunk TA for that. So good. Uh, Wraith King. How much mana needs to be burned? Still a lot. But the uh, Necros are... Oh yeah, he has used the ranged one, so that's gonna take a while. I believe he did use his magic wand already, so... Yeah, it's pretty unlikely that crit dies here. If he uses a stun, I think he will. So, and he's casting it at the moment. Uh, does he have... he does have the gem. S4 has Yules, he needs to be really quick at using that, but now that there's a pause, oh, he could awesome. force staff Yules. This looks is so cool. Very unfortunate. Oh, did I didn't even... okay. Again, maybe I'm an idiot. Zoom in on Wraith King. Yeah. His stun is coming from I his hand. I can't zoom. How do you zoom? No, like the player per, what's it called, uh, showcase mode. Oh, yeah, okay. Look at his, nice. he's like punching. That looks freaking awesome. And then Sand King's transparent. The wolves are like eating his anus and are transparent as well. 
Yeah, that's my favorite part too. <laughs> They're actually sniffing his. Okay, that's what a dog does, though, right? They, yeah, puppy they trained him well. <laughs> yeah, that looks so sick. Somebody take a screenshot of this and make it the background for Reddit. All right, we might have a go coming shortly. See what happens. The bro strike was already used. Wraith King in all likelihood can get. Nope, he's gonna cancel the stun. Yule's actually used on himself, I believe. Uh, stun does connect on S4 find a double BKB activated. That rider taking a lot of damage. Hani's gonna go down first, however. Ace to follow. The duel was lost. Ay ay ay. Four dead for Fnatic. Only one to be lost for Seeker is Bat Rider. Make it a full team wipe. Roshan not quite up. Will be very shortly. They can turn this into maybe a tier three. Let's look at the buybacks. In fact. And There's two buybacks. PA on does. Fnatic. It's not enough to really hold against five. So this might. PA and is this Venge, a Rax? But... Is yeah, this enough for a Rax? I mean, with Lycan, this is gonna be a ton of damage coming out. So we do have a buyback from Venge. Classic puppy paws right there. <laughs> yeah. Mid fight, indeed. And the beauty for this, for Secret, is they can actually transition this back into a Roshan if they really want. As Hani's gonna take a little bit of damage. There's a swap. And it's actually gonna dodge a stun, but the Mist Flare dealing work takes the last hit from No Tail, goes down. The Yules, look at the utility of this team. Double Yules, in fact. I don't know if this is the thing of the Rack Tower, but we have a, another TP in. PA, uh, okay, it is definitely enough. PA is dead right off the bat. Oh. Not the right timing. LC, you better be careful as well. They're gonna get the sun up on Puppy. Doesn't have an Aegis or anything like that. LC uses the ult, will win, but Epicenter gonna kill two again. Fnatic just getting wrecked in these fights. In all likelihood, Secret will fall back after this. Yul's used yet again. He keeps activated by Simba as he's trying to run away. Witch Doctor ult dealing a little bit of damage, but not enough to finish off either Kuroki or Simba. They're just gonna turn on Wraith King again. No ultimate with that ridiculous cooldown. Actually, he is level 2, so it's not the most ridiculous, but still very long. They don't have enough to go for Roshan, but definite team fight 1 for Secret. They get the Rax. Witch Doctor does get Axe, however. Unfortunately, it won't be... 16 as well now, almost. Yeah. Maybe has it won't before be the next a, uh, It won't be a surprise, however, since... But XC. still... I think at this point it's pretty much too late. Like, they're 20k gold, 20k experience behind, and a lane of Rax against this kind of lineup. But should they land the perfect combo, then maybe. But I don't know, that that jump from Arise, he buys back, then he dies. The way he died, it's not that he dies again. I mean, you can get focused and killed off, but he jumped into a pretty hopeless attempt against that Skyrath, and even if he gets the lucky kid on, uh, the lucky crit on Coup de Class, he's still gonna be brought down immediately after, so. That was not the ideal situation for him at all, and he needs to come up big for Fnatic. We talked about he was 6-1-1, now he's 8-6-3. and three. So since that point, he's effectively attack. gone 2-5-2 two, and two, with a good start on PA. It just has to be better than that, and they, they haven't found the opportunities that they needed. Now they're gonna go Roche. I like this play a lot. You're behind, Still go risky. for something drastic. Yeah, for sure. Oh, oh, he's, being on. he's gonna be scouting this out pretty easily. Witch Doctor, this is the key here, is Witch Doctor. S4 gets stunned. Might actually get taken out. Nope, the Yule's gonna save him at least for now. Bat Rider trying to bring something up, but Honey, a nice swap. S4 trying to get away, almost goes down to the LC, but Honey will be the second dead for Fnatic. Witch Doctor, unfortunately, was the first, so there's pretty much no way Fnatic wins this. PA does get a kill. They get healed up next to LC. Can they? Oh, okay. shit. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's is next on the list for last for for Fnatic to Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Which is really good. Uh, it's really fun. Two ways to get your ult off. This is one of the things that we yeah, well, I definitely had to try that in the book and the ball first. No, that wasn't too bad. Once again, if they're not by 20k there, they're potentially starting to lag through. Okay, good. We're not DCing. Yeah. Who chose this god awful server? <laughs> good job, Cinderin. Great organizer. <laughs> I am the best host ever. Well, at least the oh. timing wasn't horrible this time, like the the first time. But yeah, um, Secret firmly in the lead. Yeah, they now that they have the Aegis, who did they give it to? They gave it Kuroki. to the 
he did give it to well, Kuro. Actually. Well, he just and she's in the support Skyrath. That's some commitment to keeping your position four alive. But if he had Ags, this would be amazing choices. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Good God, would love to see that. Get like five Mystic Flare buff on one hero just for fun, just because you can. Witch Doctor. Oh, they're actually TPing to the the Astral Spirit, and this is oh, nice usage from Legion Commander and a nice swap actually. They're trying to keep Witch Doctor alive with all their might. He might go down. Oh, it's gonna be close. They end up taking out Elder Elder Titan. BKB used by by Ace in addition to this. And the chase continues. Epicenter used on basically one hero. Burrow Strike's gonna miss regardless of the BKB activation. Which wasn't end of the meeting. Oh, Kuroki almost gets crit down, but uses the Ghost Scepters. End up going, end up falling to the Legion Commander in the end. So the Aegis is used at the very least, but Don't Puppy worry, in the meantime, bottom the lane, BKB, he just goes for the, the racks. Doesn't even care about Ani at all, Dyer's as he shouldn't. This is going to be another lane of racks going the way of Secret. Space created. <laughs> even though that was really good execution from Fnatic, I thought. There's no way he gets out of this, really? Really? Oh my goodness. Oh. No mana on the bench for neither swap nor stun. Witch Doctor wasn't in range for the cast, I believe. He even gets oh out. My lord. That's unbelievable. And they find a pick off on wow. the Wraith King. Yeah, that's They're getting pretty much they game. Want. They could go top now. Dyer's five top on five once is Elder attack. Titan is out and claim the last lane. Or they can just try to split the map once again. Looks like they're trying for a pick off bot lane, but no one's coming there just yet. Dyer's top tower is oh, under hold attack. On. Oh, okay. I was gonna say Batrider might have more damage uh, from duel than Legion Commander, but it's actually not even close. Legion Commander still has, so that's good news, I suppose. And in fact, it's gonna go even higher with that that pick off of the Skyrath Mage. Kuro, but still, just 64 damage. Spend some time in the game. with Hani, but <laughs> he is. Uh, I don't blame him. Those muscles, that physique. Mm. I was that's more thinking Skyrath Venge, but you're right. Oh. That's another. Uh, that's another <laughs> OTP there. That's good point. <laughs> I forgot about the connection between the two. My my apologies, friends. But H Hani Hani didn't want to. He didn't even want to be friends anymore. He's so over Kuro. I guess. Pa. I mean, we're 40 minutes in, and we not much he can do in this case since they are down in so many ways. But all he really has is BKB, which honestly, a lot of the usage so far hasn't been the greatest. Not completely his fault, but. Um, what is it at now? It should be a really, yeah, it should be five seconds, so, I don't know. LC, though, does have an eight second BKB and the Blade Mill. And the Witch Doctor, we haven't really seen a great ultimate since that Aghanim Scepter. That's what we're it's down to, It's just hard to, to position yourself. It's, yeah. uh, it's all or nothing with the Witch Doctor ult. They need a good, they need a good Witch Doctor ult where he doesn't get interrupted, and they have ways of setting it up. They have, uh, other initiators, they can force a fight, but... I think Secret know what's going on. They even pinged him a moment ago. They have triple Yules. If anyone is in range, they can just stop that ult. So without BKB on Witch Doctor, it's going to be hard now. They're going to swap oh. Puppy. Swap yeah. Triple BKB. Everybody's gold and then the Hizzy. Puppy doesn't look like anything's going to come from this duel. Okay, I stand corrected. Puppy's the one that came to the damage. That's not good news. Look how fast he is. That is insane. And here we have the Epicenter on two. This could be the beginning of the end for Fnatic. We do have a buyback on LC. No ultimate though. Not sure how much you can do. Yules again used defensively. These Yules have just come out of nowhere and they're doing so much work. They end up taking out Sand King. Elder Titan buys back, so Fnatic doing a good job of defending, at least for now. Ghost Scepter usage by Kuroki. He does have Cheese, Aegis already used. And here, look at it. Oh, he's gonna dodge, but look at it go. Thanks to the Yules yet again. But, okay. Oh my! A triple kill going the way of a rise. So defense successful on Big Daddy. No time might be next on the list. That is the longest stun ever I've seen from Vengeful Spirit. But another Yule's defensive usage, dodging that stun. He's gonna attempt to run away. Don't think there's, that's gonna be in the cards for him. Another? Wow, that cooldown is ridiculous. All right, now we're getting some serious damage on LC. <laughs> Although, he'd only oh, won that one against. Really? really? Oh, is boy. he gonna get away with this? Like, forces now, the glyph. Fortify. Can't slow him. And that's gonna be the end of that. So the racks at half HP, it will regen a bit, but this is the last thing standing for Fnatic. I didn't see the uh, the Witch Doctor ult, did you? I didn't notice if it was I did, but it successful. was really not good. So Witch Doctor was standing here, and he was channeling it out here. And it hit one target up here in the beginning, but then all of Secret were like over here, and it didn't have anyone to bounce to, so they essentially wasted the Witch Doctor ult. And with that in mind, I think Fnatic can be okay with not flat out just losing the game there, but now they're without Glyph, 
They have one melee racks on half health. Puppy can BKB in, use everything, and get Megas, and they can't yeah. stop him. There's like, they have to swap him, they have to duel him, and we saw before, they couldn't even kill him during that. And then, there's a Necro Book and Wolves in addition to it, so. Not looking good for Fnatic to come back in this now. But and like you said, with all the Yules, Witch Doctor just can't get off an ult anyway. I mean, no. if anybody should have a BKB, it's him. If PA could just give him her BKB or LC, they just haven't been as effective, because they just melt to Lycan either yep. way. But it's true, if he could play with some confidence and get in and get the ult off. Even then, he can still get lassoed, but that's a way more unlikely play. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Fnatic, I think they're they're holding on admirably. I think they like this game, to me, was was pretty much over 10 minutes ago, and they could have perhaps lost it two minutes after that, but they've taken a couple of good fights, and because of that, they're Puppy. still in it, but... Looking to back door. Here we go. Oh, there's a gem on the Wraith King. He's Look standing at that. that morph time is so insane. And Stuns the, the wolf. Yeah, I was gonna say, is that a BKB dodge or just a complete stun miss, okay? Ace is gonna pop his, his LC ult. Is this enough to take anybody out? The winner is actually gonna be Legion Commander, but the Megas come. And I think it's easy enough to call this. Yeah, Fnatic's caught this now. That was a good kill. <laughs> yeah, with that extra damage on LC, I mean, good god. Plus 100. Witch Doctor, would you have thought Ace would range? reach 100 plus damage in this game? No, I would not. Absolutely after that not. early game. Not even 50. And Fnatic have have taken some really good fights. But Secret, once again, just better, better oh, control, better go. movement early on. Uh, better decision making and just overall strategy. Just they they had the better calls and they seemed more like a team in this game than Fnatic did. And at the end of the day, that's what wins you the games. Just better All teamwork right. and strategizing. We have, we have refresher on Batrider and more importantly, Kuroki does pick up the Aghanim Scepter and he still has the cheese. Yep. I'm just he watching him the rest of the one, game. One, two, three, four. So for people that don't know, the Aghanims yeah. gives the Mystic Flare zero cooldown. Of course, it has a ridiculous man mana cost. Ace pops his ult, no kill is going to come from this at all. And here we have Initiation, Bat Rider coming in. Witch Doctor ult doing a decent job. No, nobody's really in range at this point, though. Might get the kill. Kuroki, okay, he melts. Absolutely melts. I don't even know how many ults he got off, but it wasn't many. Got off so two. So Fnatic somehow winning that. He got two off. Did he get any kills? I think he got one, but that Witch Doctor ult just, wow. Yeah, that was good. It's incredible the, the funny thing is, it, it wasn't a good ult at first because nobody was really in range, and then uh, Secret initiated into it with the Bat Rider, and that ended up bouncing to Skyrath. All right, in in another dimension, is this game even possible to win for Fnatic against Megas? If Megas are weaker in that dimension, then maybe. <laughs> but okay, like with so the no. with the current with the current position they're in, this is as close to impossible as it gets. Pretty much, but they're trying. They're doing what they can at least. Oh, actually, if they knew Wraith King's ult was down, he actually might just still go down to this. He swap out. Oh man, you don't want to use it in that scenario. Crit forcing it out of Hani, and that means no swap in this engagement if there is one. But Crit right, three on now five. has his ultimate finally. Oh my goodness, that is just living Here on the edge. Here comes Puppy. Even the life steal is not enough. Puppy pop BKB. Hani pop BKB. That's not really going to matter against the Abyssal Blade. And oh, okay, that's not even an abyssal blade. Good god. He can easily pick it up too with all this gold. Crit. Finally, the ult is used, but we'll die very shortly after. Here comes the Witch Doctor ult. Won't do a whole lot to banking as he just pops his sandstorm in the meantime. S4, Burrow strikes out. And the Mega's just going to work. Thrown at half HP. I'm really surprised there's no GG calls. I'm sure they're soon to come. As Secret, as, is he gonna get it? He gets it! 118 damage going away, LC, in a loss. Congratulations to Secret, they are now 4-1 overall in this tournament. There's gonna be a game 2 coming up soon. Uh, any last words about this? We had quite a bit of time to talk about, well, the inevitable, I suppose. Uh, it's, well, I, I feel like we kind of covered it. It was just, there was especially the fight top where Fnatic were starting to gather and trying to stab Secret, and then they got...